My name is Ingrid McIntyre, and I'm one of the pastors here at Belmont United Methodist Church. And God is new, doing a new thing at Belmont. Amen? I happen to be one of those new things. <laughs> and I feel so blessed to be here. Um, Belmont has a history of persistence. Belmont has a history of justice seeking, and Belmont has a history of understanding that we belong to each other. Belmont has, in the recent past, sponsored one of the micro homes at the Medical Respite Village um, that serves people who are experiencing homelessness so that when they leave the hospital, they don't have to heal on a bench or down by the river, but that they can heal in a home where they are being cared for and they don't have to leave until we find them permanent housing. Amen. Amen. Belmont has a history of living in community with people who might not be able to do that on their own and providing dignity and humanity to each one. Belmont has a history of walking alongside school children who may not have all they need to eat, who may not have all the tutoring they need, who may not have a place to go after school. Amen. Belmont has been doing a good thing and is continuing to do something new here. Uh, Pastor Kate, you sort of stole my whole uh, doing something new thing. I think, right? We are, we are not going to let go at Belmont. God has called us to struggle alongside people. God has, has called us to struggle alongside each other. And so we have opportunities in doing new things here at Belmont to not just give money to room in the inn or not just show up to spend the night but also to help change what our city looks like in terms of affordable housing when we dig in deep belmont has the opportunity to not just be welcoming and providing esl courses here in our facility but also to travel alongside people who are coming to this country for the first time right, who may not quite yet have the audacity to pull on the hems of robes, we can be standing alongside and traveling with people. Let's do that together. Let's get involved in the environment in ways that isn't just making sure we have recycling in each of our Sunday school classes, but that we're showing up at city council and saying, we believe in this great earth that God has entrusted us with and we wanna see policies changed. Let's make sure that we are not just hanging plaques on our walls, but we are also making an inward transformation when it comes to anti-racism work. Let us make sure that we are ringing the bells in our state capitol saying we believe all people deserve health care. God has asked us to be visionaries God has not given us small visions, and so we must live into those as God is calling us to do new things. I will not let you go. We cannot let the people who are caught up in systems, even ourselves, that are broken. It is our job to do the work of justice. We are in the struggle together. And so in order for us to be able to do this new work here at Belmont, I would ask you to prayerfully consider your investment in this community. We're in a stewardship month and, and we talk a lot about money and I want you to make sure that you invest in Belmont in a financial way, but I also wanna ask you to invest in B Belmont with your time and your gifts because that is how we can break broken cycles. You can do that by going online and investing in Belmont. 
You can mail your investment to Belmont. You can call Emily or Mark in the church office. My prayer is that we might be blessed with enough boldness and foolishness to get things done that others claim cannot be done. May it be so. Amen.